part of that plan to stop the violence, massive overtime by police. But will longer workdays really lower crime? Our Suzanne Lamigno has that part of the story live from the lakefront. Good evening, Suzanne. Brad, good evening to you. You know, a police expert told me that the officers working longer hours really can make a difference, but there is a lot more to be done when it comes to preventing crime. Monday, 21 people were shot and three killed in Chicago. Yesterday, eight people were shot in a mass shooting at a home in Englewood, located in the 7th District. Four of those people died. The same day, five more people were shot in the 11th district. Not all of those things can be prevented. Simply. David A. Harris gave this perspective when it comes to longer hours for officers and mass shootings in the city. Harris is a professor of law at the University of Pittsburgh School of Law, specializing in search and seizure law and police conduct. Simply by having more police boots on the ground. If you have a shooting inside a home or another kind of building, there typically won't be police present. Harris says this short-term strategy of 12-hour workdays for officers can be a plus. A greater need for more people, you can achieve that in the short term by increasing the hours they work. You just have more of them around for longer periods of time. Two of these mass shootings were in districts where CBS2 has learned 12-hour days started for officers yesterday on the third watch. That's an afternoon shift. In all nine of these south and west side districts, officers on the second watch or morning shift will also be working 12-hour days until further notice. Sources with direct knowledge of the situation say the increase in manpower in these districts was based on data and crime patterns. Harris says a bigger police presence can be a benefit when it comes to large gatherings. But it will allow police to respond much more quickly because there's simply more of them and they're closer by. Harris says the bottom line here is that police must work to build connections with those in the community and build relationships of trust. And that's not going to be done through traffic stops, but it takes time. And that trust takes a long time to build. Brad? Uh, Suzanne, beat officers to brass. They're exhausted across the board. What about hiring more police? Would that help to solve crime and the public safety problem right now? You know, Brad, you would think that's truly the answer, hire more, more boots on the ground, but it's not. Harris says the data actually shows that's not the solution. The key solution here is really having the officers go into those communities, build relationships, and that in turn can lead to crime prevention. All right, interesting insight always and good use of sources. Suzanne Lemigno, thank you tonight. Stay on top of the latest breaking news crime fighting efforts with our news app. You can sign up for alerts so you'll never miss a story. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps to download it for free.